does receiving this award mean to you? Receiving this award, to me, and I'm, I'm just experiencing it, it now, it's saying, yes, the things that you have committed to, the passions that you have tended to, have been of value to somebody somewhere. And, and it's so appreciated. Because I've been doing this stuff for so long that I'm sure a lot of people have no idea what all has been done before they landed into this place that finally exists now that they're, you know, I don't know, in their 20s or 30s or something like that. That, um, and it, it's, it's nice to recognize the roots of our arts world and to be introduced by our governor general. As it, it also echoes back to how far we have come as, as a people, as all people. You know, to, uh, in order to get to the place where we are now, where um, Mohawk filmmaker got best film last year at, uh, where was that, at TIFF? And we have so many creators going on right now that our, our actors really have to just get that training and get that strength and that confidence and get out there because the work is there now. Our filmmakers are creating stories and characters that you've been waiting for, you know, that you've been needing to express in our communities and our families and our society in general needs to meet these people and to know these stories. We haven't been allowed to contribute enough to this overall society, I don't think. How does engagement and excellence in the arts contribute to the development and strengthening of culture? <laughs> That's a big one. How does celebrating the arts strengthen culture? I think it strengthens our artists, strengthens our arts, it, it, it gives a platform for your everyday Canadians to see what our artists are doing and have been doing. And that what, what we do as artists um, should be honored and should be celebrated because that's expressions of the soul. And, and that is the power and the responsibility that we have as artists, that we are we are in there that we're needing the soul, specifically, you know, um, talking to the soul and the spirit and the mind and, and the thing we are as human beings. And um, that's very valuable. What was the best advice you ever received in your career? You're not salt. That <laughs> <laughs> it's my mother. I, you know, I wasn't around her much because um, my grandmother was raising me. You know, I, I very often go back to how difficult life was. And I know life was difficult. I grew up before electricity came to our community where we had to get our own water and get our own wood and get our own food in, in a lot of cases. And, and so um, when things get hard in terms of acting, whether it's the hours or the creature comfort or the understanding, all of these things, um, are a gift. And what my mother was saying, who had a very tough life, is buck up. You know, you're not salt. The rain's not going to melt you. 
might get you wet, might get you cold, might get you sick, but it isn't going to melt you. <laughs> so, and that has kept me going for, you know, through so many things. But of course, there's all kinds of advice that will come in very handy at certain times. As an actor, you, you're really responsible for your own energy a lot. And there's a lot of help all around. <laughs>